Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of CJ Explores. This one is very exciting because we are hiking Australia's highest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko. It's up there covered in clouds, but we have our tickets to go on the ski lift. We're gonna go about 15 minutes right up the mountain and then we're gonna hike 13K return to reach the summit of Australia. We are in Threadbow Village right now. We stayed at Casey's Lodge last night and from our window we can see the ski lift that we're about to take to get to the start point for hiking Mount Kosciuszko. It's not the longest hike in Australia, but it is the tallest. And uh, we are very excited. Hopefully this cloud lifts and we get a nice view at the top. It's supposed to do so, but um, you never know with mountains. They always just do what they want. <laughs> There are multiple walking routes, so you can make this hike a lot longer. We've chosen the 13k hike, so we do the first 15 minutes on the chairlift and then we walk the rest, but you can go to Shark Pass and you can do what longer ones, I think up to 18k and there's also bike trails here. Um, it's a definitely a great hiking destination in the summer, which we're in now. Actually, no, it just turned autumn. But in winter, this place is covered in snow and it's a skiing destination. And I bet it just looks so pretty. Yeah, it really feels like we're somewhere else. Uh, a new part of Australia. It even doesn't really feel like Australia to me, to be honest. No, it feels like we're in Europe in winter. Yeah, but we feel like we're in like a, a European mountain village is what it feels like. It's very cool here. It'd be awesome to see this place in winter. We have our lift passes for the day. So that was $98 for both of us. Pretty expensive, but um, I don't know, it'll be fun. <laughs> and it takes about 15 minutes, cuts up a lot of time for the hike and the last one's 4.15, so we need to get a move on. <laughs> that was scary! <laughs> <laughs> I have been on a ski lift before, but it's scary. <laughs> it's always fun. I love a good ski lift. So when we were buying our ski lift pass, the lady said, it's about minus three up there at the moment. Oh, it feels like minus three, yeah. that's what she said. That, that's kind of than I thought. Yeah. But anyway, I've got about four layers on. I don't I don't know why Corey is so stubborn, he didn't want to bring his jacket. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Too big. But I guess we're going to be moving and hiking, and if we yeah. get cold, we just got to go faster. Well, um, we'll warm up on our hike, don't worry about that. He's not feeling too good today. He's no. being big and brave, he's a little bit tired under the weather. With, so I um, thought, well, yeah. let's go hike Australia's highest mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get over. <laughs> So just like most alpine resorts all over the place, um, you have summer, a lot of hiking and a lot of mountain biking, and then in the winter is all the skiing and snowboarding and uh, ice activities. Um, but yeah, you can see the all the chairlifts have like a yellow hook on the back, and that's for bikes. So I think a lot of people are doing um, mountain biking at the moment. I'd love to give it a go. I just don't know if we have enough time to do that while we're here. Um, but it looks awesome, there's heaps of tracks here, they, they had a map down at the office there. And there's so many different tracks, so it would be awesome to give it a go. If you're into mountain biking, I reckon this would be an awesome place to come. I don't know how to get off, there's no one there to help me. Hang on. I did it! <laughs> we are doing this one, Mount Kosciuszko Summit Grade 3, and it's that one up there. E. 2,228 meters at the top. Okay, we have started our hike from the Eagle Nest restaurant, which is Australia's highest restaurant. Um, and it's very, very cloudy up here. <laughs> so hopefully the cloud um, passes. But yeah, very cloudy, very mysterious looking, ethereal. Um, and there's a few people hiking up ahead of us, so we are not the only ones here, which is quite nice sometimes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we are just going to crack on with the hike and show you what we see along the way. We're about to cross over a bridge and there's a running stream underneath it. Uh, you can hear it actually sounds like there's quite a bit of water. I guess it'll be frozen if you come here in a few months. But yeah, it's looking so pretty so far, this trail. I just hope, oh, I can see where the sun is. <laughs> I just hope it burns through the clouds so you can get a better view of this whole landscape. It's 
like such a beautiful scene. It's like Lord of the Rings movie set, isn't it? We've got like loads of rocky Mate, areas nice up there with streams and little waterfalls, you can hear them. Wildflowers and it looks really spooky at the moment with all the mist up here. I think that sun's getting stronger though. I think it's gonna burn through. Fingers crossed. So the path has been a pretty consistent gradient all the way up. It's just steel mesh floating above the moss or the alpine grass below. Um, and we just keep crossing over little little creeks and streams and things. There's so much water up here. It's actually quite surprising. It's just pooling everywhere. But yeah, it's a very nice steady gradient. And I think that'll be nice for when we come back down because it's going to be pretty soft on the old knees. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's like this the whole way up. But yeah, we'll update you if it changes. It's quite bright over there. I'm actually getting really warm. <laughs> uh, we've done about nearly one and a half K. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take this jacket off soon. I think when the ticket lady said minus three, I think she means, means at the very, very summit. Maybe, yeah. I don't think this is minus three. Some hat. Is it windy? No wind, thank God. <laughs> That's the worst thing is cold wind. But no, it's very pleasant up here. Very, very nice. Right, we're going down now. We're just passing a lookout, which we are not gonna stop at because it's a bit cloudy up here, so you can't really see too much anyway. On the way back. We might stop on the way back. Yeah. Um, but now we're heading down into a little valley and then back up, and it looks a little bit steeper on the other side. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, damn it. Yeah, but we've stripped off a layer because we're getting nice and warm now. The sun is coming out and uh, these clouds are slowly burning off. So fingers crossed it keeps going that way. There's a lake down there. Look at that view, that is so good. That is so amazing, isn't it? It's so good. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm in Scotland. Yeah, it's very different to the Australia that we know, isn't it? Yeah, it's very different. It's so nice that we had the opportunity to come here. I'm so glad that we did on the way home. I feel like this is ending our trip around Oz in like the most memorable way. Blue sky is getting very, very bright. I think we're going to get our sunnies on soon so thankful because it was so cloudy and misty and even though it looked really cool you couldn't see much but I feel like now we can actually see the landscape up here yeah and yeah it is just stunning clouds coming over boo boo clouds are coming over it's very cool and with the cloud cover constantly changing we keep getting different parts of the mountain exposed it's like it keeps changing what we can see like before the lake was kind of nice and clear and now we're getting this view, which I don't know if that's the summit. Um, there's a little saddle up here, which we're going to cross over. But yeah, we keep getting shown different parts of the mountain as we go. <laughs> and it's looking like, fingers crossed, <laughs> we're going to get blue sky at the top. Um, there is some cloud, but it is looking very clear in the direction we're going. So we have just crossed Rawson Pass, which is at an altitude of 2,100 meters. This is the point where Australia's highest toilet is. Australia's highest toilet stinky. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's the last point to leave your bicycles if you've cycled up here. Now, we're doing a bit more mountain hiking. We're like sort of just on normal, not metal grating anymore. And the weather has cleared up beautifully for us. So we're going to get to the top and have our lunch at the summit. It's incredible. We are so lucky that we got some sunshine so we can really see what it looks like up here. Yeah. We lucked out. It's a very busy trail, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think, think it's because it's quite easy to do. Yeah, it's fairly easy. Um, summer, well we're in autumn now, but we're still in the 
kind of season for hiking here. But yeah, it's just been constantly people. Like we've never just been alone. No. Lots of school groups, a lot of um, more older people than the few younger couples, but yeah. Very busy, it's cool. Nearly there. Nearly there. I'm excited to have a little sit down and enjoy the view. just had a little lunch break up here and we've just been watching the people coming and going. Some people sit up here and have lunch, some people just come up here, take the photo and leave. Um, we do have a couple of school groups up here and from the sky I took the drone up and uh, it doesn't actually look that impressive because there's so many mountains around. Yeah it's pretty busy up here, uh, there's been loads of people um, always taking photos up at this like monument right at the top. Um, some people are quite angry about other people being here <laughs> which is silly because you know you're one of the people who are here <laughs> um, but yeah uh, we have enjoyed it it's been beautiful weather for us we're so lucky and uh, we're gonna head down it's all downhill now so we're just gonna cruise it down and make it back because the ski lift shuts at quarter past four so we've got a few hours to get back I think we'll be fine Thousands of crickets, so random. There's so many. We're back at the Mount Kosciuszko lookout. We tried to come here earlier on the way to the summit but it was completely covered in cloud so we thought we might wait and it was a good idea because now the clouds lifted and we have this amazing view yeah this was a lot foggier earlier so now we definitely have a better view we can see a lot more and i can see the ski lifts so we're getting back to the beginning we'll be there soon and then we'll get to sit on the ski lift and go all the way down which I'm glad that we bought those passes because I think that's a nice way to end it. You're a bit scared. Yeah. We've had a fantastic time up here on Mount Kosciuszko. Yeah, it's been awesome. The hike was so nice. It wasn't strenuous at all. It was just a steady, moderate incline the whole way. Yeah. Um, and the views, we were rewarded with a blue sky when we got to the top. Sunshine. We were so lucky. It was just so perfect. He said that this hike usually takes four to six hours to do the 13 Ks. We took about four hours exactly, pretty much, and we had a lunch stop. Uh, we didn't do it go too fast, we kind of just had our own pace. You can definitely go faster or you can go slower. If you go early in the day, you can take all day. Loads of places you can just sit and relax. Um, but yeah, we loved it. Definitely happy that we ticked this one off the bucket list. Yeah, great way to end our big lap of Australia. Yeah! Woohoo!